<laughs> yes. We're taking this thing for a little spin to see what it can do. Yeah, that's right. And being that B's got a new car, I'm feeling a little inspired myself. It's time to get a new Chevrolet pickup truck. That's right. We're going to keep the battle wagon, but we need one for just kind of everyday stuff. So we're going to go to Gilbert Chevrolet where he bought this car. He actually bought this car at Gilbert Chevrolet. It's uh, Okeechobee City. So thank you very much, guys. And we're going to go up there and hang out. And in the meantime, we're going to take a little ride. You can let me drive, dude. You can let me drive. Only if you promise not to crash. <laughs> We'll see what happens, but we're gonna see what this car has got. So we're gonna take a little ride. We're gonna go pick out a car. If you watched my video uh, a couple days ago, you saw that I was talking about getting a, a car, and you guys dropped a lot of comments below on what color to get and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna go check it out. We're gonna go see what kind of deals they have, but we're also gonna see what this thing can do. So don't go anywhere. We're gonna give the SS a test. Oh yeah. You're gonna need your seatbelt for these. Zero to 60 in 1.6 seconds. <laughs> right. We'd be doing wheelies at that fast. Yeah. Dude, this thing's sweet, guys. Check this out. Liking it, man. Liking it. You digging it? It's the nicest car I've ever owned. Oh, it's sweet, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's sweet. Nice little display right there. Oh, yeah. Now, what is this? Well, this one is a. It's a 2SS. A 2SS. 2019. 2019. Camaro. So I think I'm gonna get the 1500. I don't know if I'm gonna do like a high country or just an LTZ or just do a regular one and then trick it out. I'm not real sure. But again, we're going car shopping. So come along with us and help me pick out a car, a truck I should say. And let's see what this thing's got, dude. It's time to go, my friend. It's time to go. Oh, ho, ho. that kind of, I lost my glasses. <laughs> Dude, that was crazy. Oh, can't wait to drive it, man. I haven't driven a car in years. It's either Suburbans or trucks for me. Whoa, this thing's downshifting. You got a little paddle? You got paddles? Paddle shifter. Yeah. Paddle shifters. How many horsepower? 455. 455. So we're on route. Brandon, you, you washed the car. Nice. So we got on this road. Now there's literally like splats of bug juice. Like there's so many love bugs are just coming at us like raining love bugs. I think right up here we got a little road. We're gonna see what this puppy can do. Brandon is a trained professional. He has a stunt driver license. So do not <laughs> try this at home. <laughs> right? Alright, so we're on a uh, this is a safe road, no traffic. Okay, closed course. This is closed course, Brandon. Closed course. It is a closed course. There's a sign right back behind us that way. We're gonna see what this puppy can do. You got the special little paddle shift thing, like the, what do they call it, launch mode? Launch control. You got launch control? Yeah. Ooh. I've never used it before, so. Ooh. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Ready, set, go. was squealing them out bro that was good that was good we actually suction cupped the camera to the back we pretty much need to check if it's there pretty quick <laughs> because if it's not we got to go back i know y'all geeked out right now but stop let's check let's see if the camera's there please <laughs> yeah i pretty much didn't do the zero to 60 on that one it was kind of confusing but it was fast i didn't know i had the launch mode that was crazy <laughs> We're gonna try we're gonna try to time it this time okay when you take off I'll hit it Seconds. That's slow. Is that's because, slow. Yeah, because you I burned out too much. No, 
I shipped it too late on the first one. Ah, let's see. What now? It's your turn. Oh, okay. All right, he's going to let me drive the car. It's the first time I've driven this thing. And it's the first time I've driven a car in probably 10 years. I've always been in trucks and Suburbans. I spun out good. Dude, that thing's rumbling. I like that. You have to owe me new tires. <laughs> that was good, man. All right, let's go buy a truck, dude. The car is very cool. Let's go find a cool truck. Okay. Right, right. You're here, my friend. There's the gray ones and the black ones. Oh, there's a there's a silver. There's like a silver like LTZ off-road model. Kind of sweet. He's already here. He's quick. Guys, quick. He's like, these guys want to buy a truck. I'm coming in to sell them one, right? See, dude, you should have got that. I have eighty thousand dollars. Thing is awesome. Thing is awesome. We're here to buy a truck, man. That's all I know. I know a guy. You know a guy? Yeah. What's up, man? How you doing? I'll see good. you all later. Good. See okay. You later, so, sweet, sweet for hooking him up on that. Yeah, that thing's awesome. Yeah, it's very awesome. I don't know what I want to get yet, but fifteen hundred obviously yeah I'm, I'm just kind of gonna walk let's just walk around and look at a couple different models real quick and just see what stimulates me because okay. i'm not gonna wrap this one this is gonna be one for my house okay so the battle wagon when the new body style uh 2500s come out yep. soon, soon i'll be back and we'll get one of those for the tour i need one to kind of brandon's on the road sometimes and i'm at home and driving the players around town that you know right no you, well you came to the right place we got a lot of them so I like I like this one a lot. Yes. <coughs> what is this? this so this this, this is, is like a sport package or something. This is the Trail Boss. So this is a mixture of like the LTZ71 and a new package they came out with. It's almost like an off-road thing. Yeah. To I think they're trying to compete with like the Ford Raptor type thing. Okay. So it's a stronger motor? Uh, no, this one, these have the 5.3. Yeah. You can get the 6.2, uh, but if you get the 6.2, it's in the LTZ, so you can't get it in the Trail Boss. The Trail Boss only comes in an LT or a custom. Yeah, that's all. Everything that's on that came that way from the factory. Recovery hooks, bigger, more aggressive tires. We need recovery hooks occasionally. Occasionally. Occasionally we need recovery hooks. Don't we, Brandon? Get into some situations. <laughs> We've been known to get into a situation or two or yeah. three. That right there is an LT. Um, those are the 20 inches. That's the Z71 wheels, which are actually really nice. I like wheels. these wheels. Okay. And this is an L. This is an LT, yep. Okay. Kind of like this one now, too. Yeah. The LT is going to be cheaper than that one. The LT is going to be cheaper. Depending yep. on how it's uh, packaged, but for the most part, yeah. Look apples at, look, to apples. Look at these things cheaper. right here. These are cool. Like, look up in here, Brandon. There's like vents. That's where all the love bugs can go. Like, they funnel <laughs> yeah. when the love bugs come the love through. Bug killer vacuum. Yeah, that's what it does. It prevents it from going to the windshield. It's special love weeks. bug package. They come down special. like this, and then they go whoosh, right into there. Yes. They're gone. They're, they're gone. Because Brandon washed his car oh, to come here. That ride is the, that's the love bug ride. You can't see out of the windshield. It's like yeah. we're driving. It's going top, 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 top. When people top. pull in here, they're having to get windshield wiper <laughs> fluid just because they stop by to say, "Hey." I didn't even realize that that front that that front's cool. I, yeah. I'm liking the new styling, guys. I actually, I, you know, everybody when they first came out was like, "I don't know, I don't know." Yeah, but. It like grows on you. I like yeah, it a it's, lot. That's typical. It is. Every time a new model comes out, your eyes aren't used to it. You're kind of used to the old yep. thing. You're a little loyal to the old thing. I actually have this truck. This is the smoothest riding truck I've ever had. Yeah. And I've driven, you know, five different uh, Chevrolet models along the way. And this thing drives the best out of all of them. The new one. Okay. That's an interesting. Yeah, that's a new color. That's uh, Oakwood Metallic. It's a little bit. We kind of had to order that in the dark. Yeah. That's an Oakwood Metallic new 2019 Silverado 1500. Please drop your comments. If you hate it, love it. If we should order more of it, don't order any more of it. That Please color, let right? us know. You could save us a lot of time and money by doing that. It's different, and I like different. We'll just yeah, take that one, dude. Yeah, they, they not make, we'll just take that one. Just take the VW. We'll put a hitch on the back. That thing good. will pull a bass boat like you wouldn't believe. Is it a two 10, cylinder? 12 feet even. It's a two-cylinder, isn't it? That's a two-cylinder. All right, I, I don't know what I don't know which uh, which one to do here. 
What do you think, Brandon? Well, I'll tell you what I want to do. I definitely want to check out this one. So if you can find the keys to that one, because that one's just, I just like it. It's just different. And then, uh, oh, the black LT. Yeah, yeah. The black LT, just because this could be a add some stuff to it truck. Right. You know what I'm saying? This is the kind that people jack up a little bit, put yeah. some bigger rims and tires on. Right. So this is a LT with the rally sport truck. Because you really? can only get the buckets in the, it's called a 1SP model. Uh -huh. uh, you cannot get buckets in an LT this year. You have to either get to a 1SP model, which is an LT, uh, with a little bit uh, of a package yeah. that yeah. front bumper is going to match the color of the truck, things like that. Is this four-wheel drive? You can get, yes, this is four-wheel drive. Okay. All right, let's go check them out. Let's go check these cars out, guys. Trucks. I keep saying cars, and they're not cars, uh, they're trucks. Cars go. are cars and trucks are trucks. I always say cars. Let's go check these cars out. They're not cars. It's okay. They're trucks. All right. All right, let's take this one for a little spin around the block. See what it's like inside, see how it drives. I'm kind of liking it. Interior is good. Now, is this a full back seat or is yes. this? So the back seat's actually about four inches bigger. Yeah. I don't know if uh, Brandon can tell. Yeah. Um, this is the first year we've had rear AC. There's rear AC vents in this stack mm -hmm. right here. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you've got kids or anybody traveling in the back, much better. Now what engine does this one have in it? This has the 5.3 liter. Yeah, so, so it's 40. Yes, 355 horsepower. I'm only 100 horsepower below you, Brandon, on your Camaro. All right, so it has Wi-Fi, I see that hotspot. Yep. Wi-Fi hotspot. It has all the XM radio and everything. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, depending on what yep. phone you have. This is Bose in here? Yes, this, this has Bose. I can do the upgraded kicker? Yes. Package? Yes. We can do that. We can talk about that. Absolutely. Okay. Get the subs under the seat. Kicker has that package too. Chevrolet. Guys, if y'all are um, buying a, a truck or a car, uh, Kicker has enclosures and things that they can add to the current stereo systems in the vehicles and uh, sounds really good. So that's what we'll do on this one. Instead of getting it all custom built, we'll just we'll just get what Kicker has and put it in it. Absolutely. We can order that. A lot of that's uh, plug and play too. Yeah. So it's not old school splice and wires and things like that. What do you think, Brandon? I like it. He's always very talkative. Yes. That's what I love about him. <laughs> um, this does have the auto start stop. So yeah. if you don't want it to do that, you can always just hit that and turn it off. Okay. Whoa. It even sounds good. Yeah, it's nice. This one might be winter, winter, but we got to check out the black one because yeah. I don't know what the price is on this yet. But once we look at this one and look at the black one, and I do want to look at the top of the line one if you've got one in stock, just to see. Okay. But I'm leaning heavy either on this one or that black one. Two things that I do want to note while we're sitting yeah. here, while you're in park, okay? Uh, new deals. Plug in the back, yeah. like this plug here. Okay. Uh, in the bed of the truck. So if you're at a tournament, yeah. you're camping, you're doing any of that stuff, you could use a a power saw you plug if you're working on something there's a plug back there it is not just in case any kids were going to mess with it it's not powered up until you power it up gotcha but all you got to do is hit that button and you've got power back there perfect dude we can make you like a little bed back there when we make those long trips you can lay back there and make a little office in the bed of the truck <laughs> a little cot a little desk and stuff all right now this is this is a a base model LT, well, it's not a base model, but oh, it's this a, is a rally sport truck. Rally sport truck. All right, so pretty much everything's the same in this one. Yeah, Other than uh, you're going to notice a lot of similarities in those two, in this truck and that truck because this is the one SP, mm -hmm. which is the rally sport truck model. You get the buckets like you have in that trail boss. Okay, but these are not leather, these are cloth. No, these are cloth. Yeah, the uh, obviously it doesn't have the lift, it does have some nice rims and tires on it still, but for the most part, a lot of the same. Same engine? Same engine. That's the big thing everybody needs to note if you're going to buy a truck. Yeah. Just because you're getting a 5.3 liter does not mean that you're going to be getting max tow capacity out of it. Yeah. Make sure you're buying a truck from somebody who sells trucks and knows how to order trucks. Right. I, I don't know how many times I've had people come here and tell me, oh, I don't know, that 5.3, it wouldn't pull my boat like I thought it should. It's a different axle. And, and we look at it and had a 308 rear end and it pulls 2,000 pounds less than a truck with a 342. Really? But you can't tell that. By looking and, at it. By looking at it. Ah. So, so you, want, not, you don't want a 308. No, you want the 342 if you're buying a four-wheel right, drive. there you go. Tip of the day right there, guys. 
All right, what's the other option? One more okay. option. Um, well, the other option is, you know, we talked about the 6.2 a little bit. Yep. We talked about the LTZ a little bit, and we've got a 6.2 LTZ demo. So, I mean, it's a, it's a bit more money, but we're running a special on it, so we might as well check it out while you're here. Yeah. Just bring it. So that's that satin steel color we were talking about, which is a newer color. Seems to be pretty popular as of now. A little bit different. Yeah. Still a good looking color. Everybody seems to like it. I mean, this is like, this, this truck is awesome, right? But it just looks too responsible. <laughs> I don't, I'm not ready for responsible. You know what I mean, Brandon? I like trail boss where like we can go off road and jump through ditches and stuff. This is way too responsible. This is like speed limit, like take your kids to school and all that's great for people. But right. I'm not ready that's for that. I want, we gotta have that dude. Boom, 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 boom. I do want to see inside just to see. Oh, look at that leather. That's nice. It's like camel. Is that camel? Is that real camel? camel. Yeah, that's real gray camel. <laughs> expensive. It's expensive. That's, expensive. that's some expensive. This is a demo here. Oh, it's got a sunroof. Demo day. Demo day. Look, I, I love this truck right here. This truck is sweet. I'll tell you what, it's between those two. Let's go inside and talk a few prices and see what we come up with. Okay. Okay. All right, so Trail Boss, Rally Sport, those are the two. Those are the main contenders. What do we got for price? Okay, so the Rally Sport truck is about two grand cheaper out the door. Okay. So both of them have supplier pricing for all, which is about three thousand dollars off yeah. the top. And that's anybody gets that. So anybody right now. Anybody is that like a month thing? Like this that month? is this month. That's a Memorial Day sale event. I mean this is the new body style truck and they're okay. putting the supplier pricing on it. That's a big deal. Normally right. that's supplier reserved pricing. for like yeah. old body style last model year type. Right, right, yeah. Usually sure. that's what I see those type deals. Right. So, all right, that's pretty cool. I didn't even know that. So you get supplier pricing right now this month for Memorial Day. So. so that's about three grand off the top, and then you qualify on either one of them for fifty five hundred dollars in rebates because they have the same rebate package, mm -hmm. uh, one and the other. So that's about eighty five hundred dollars off of MSRP on a new body style truck. Really? So eighty yeah. five hundred dollars. Eighty five hundred dollars off. Oh, guys! All right, here's what I want you to do. Just see if you can guess right. Pause the video right now. Uh, after I'm done talking, not right now. Finish <laughs> hearing me. Then pause the video. Which? What am I going with? Am I going with Trail Boss? That's the gray and black. Or am I gonna go with the Rally Sport, the all black? What do you think? Drop a comment below and then meet me outside and I'll let you know what we did. This one? What do you think? Winner, winner, chicken dinner right there. We're going with the Trail Boss. truck just like your car dude okay I just want you to enjoy your all black SS and I'm liking that trail boss what do you think guys I think it's awesome I think it's very awesome so uh, let's make this deal happen hey I do need one thing out of you though I need the deck system in the back. okay oh uh, yeah. yeah you want me to throw that in kind of need that I didn't beat you up too bad I know who did this. I didn't beat you up too bad. I, know I need kicker. Well, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna pay this for This is all Brandon's idea. He said when I got my Camaro last minute, I was like, "This is what I need to close this deal," and we made it happen. You always got to hold on. It's the tip of the day when you're dealing with car salesmen. You got to hold on to one little thing at the last minute. Right when the guy says, "I'm about to be out of here, move on to the next guy," I go, "Hey, deck system in the back," and he goes, "Okay." So guys. We're gone. Kevin, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, Scott. Thank you, Gilbert Chevrolet. Appreciate it. Uh, I don't know. More coming. And hey, I don't know what I'm going to do with the 2500 Chevy Battle Wagon. New body style is coming out soon uh, on that. I'm going to be getting a new one. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So give it away. I don't know what I'm going to do. Let me know. Who wants it? Who wants the Trocar Battle Wagon? We'll see you guys. Bam! Thank you.